Good morning, Roadrunners. This is Miss Prasad. I hope you all are doing well. Today, I wanted to talk about something I wanted you to do with your families. I wanted you to talk to them about appreciation and how we show appreciation at school. All of you have either a pocket where you have your name labeled or you have something where in your classrooms where you can go put an appreciation message for someone else in your class to make their day. So what I'd like with you to do with your families is to find some sort of container. It could be like a box like this where you kind of decorate it as a family today and then you can write your names on it and throughout the next few days you can start putting affirmations in. A lot of you know what I'm talking about. It could be a simple affirmation. It could be a drawing. It could be something that really warms someone heart, someone's heart when they check their box. Or if you don't have a box, you can get an envelope or make an envelope out of paper. If you don't have paper, you could just find a container and you can use that and you could maybe write somebody's name or put a label on it and that could be their container that you can put their affirmation. I hope you do have paper at home though. One of the things I want you to think about when you write your affirmations is not to just say thank you for dinner or um, thank you for working and providing us things for our family. Go, really put details in there. So my example would be if grandma made you dinner last night, instead of saying thank you for making me dinner, how did that dinner taste? How did it make you feel afterwards? What exactly did grandma do to put that meal together for you? Give, go into the details because when we show appreciation, those are the things when somebody's receiving that appreciation, that means a, real, uh, that, that means a lot. <clears throat> One of the things I also want you to consider is that there are lots of people working out there that have not received appreciation from anyone. Think about the people delivering your mail right now. Think about the people working in the grocery stores. Who are the ones stocking the shelves? cleaning up the grocery store, scanning your groceries, bagging your groceries. Those are the people that you might want to consider writing an affirmation for and maybe mailing it to the grocery store. If you can't do that, you could say, hey, mom and dad, the next time you go to this place, can you drop this in? Okay, if you don't even do that, that's okay. You can just write the appreciation and at least you have it so that when we start seeing some of the members in our community again, you can keep it for them. So just have a stack and you can save it. Other people you might also consider writing affirmations for are our county sheriff officers. You could write some for our firefighters and our EMT workers, the ambulance workers, um, anyone you can think of. I hope that you spend the day thinking about the people you appreciate in your life and why you appreciate them and all the things they do for you. We are a big community that support each other and we all love and care about each other. And every single day I wake up, I'm very grateful to be here and I'm very grateful that I have you all in my life. If you have anything you'd like to tell me, please send me an email. I hope I get some emails today. I didn't get any yesterday, except from Ella again, which I did respond to. Hope you all have a fabulous day. Stay safe, Roadrunners.